When we started to work on that project, we wanted to keep the benefits of the iDrive, that it has a great wheel path, a high pivot, but then we wanted to in increase the pedal efficiency even more and make the bike more simple, lighter, uh, more reliable bearings, stiffer um, and uh, lower center of gravity, so easy to use. So basically we wanted to keep the strengths of the old iDrive system but uh, improve on the weak points what we, it had before. The biggest benefit of this platform is that we can use all the advantages of a high pivot which is excellent for rolling over obstacles because when you have a high pivot your wheel wheel path goes back and up. When you hit an obstacle your wheel rolls over it. It's even higher than on most downhill bikes but that would normally create paddle feedback when you um, do an uphill. We also focused on developing the optimal geometry for 650B. When uh, 29er started, the first years the geometries were, and it took quite a while till 29ers really did ride well. So we thought, okay, for 650B, we don't want to wait a few years. So what we did is we built three test mules for the geometry. Not one, we built three test mules and each test mule was tested by hans Jörg Gray, by the Atherthons, by uh, other pro riders. And from that feedback, we developed then the second test mule and then from that feedback, the third test mule to really, really refine the geometry. The path link is the herd of the bike and it drives at the same time the shock and the BB. So our path link here, when the suspension moves in, drives the BB back and that eliminates the chain growth. To make the bike lighter, we combined two functions. We First, we wanted to have a linkage to drive the shock, to have a suspension rate which is linear at the first uh, half and then the second half it turns into a slight progressive rate to have great bottoming out the resistance. The path link is constructed out of two halves. It's welded in the center and those two halves are forged pieces hollowed out by CNC and then welded together. Which creates then a box which is extremely stiff, still lightweight and very, very strong. We tried to make the best handling bike possible. We made a very long top tube we made uh, combined with short stem, so it's a very active uh, riding position. We added a lowest possible center of gravity that you can flip the bike around easily. And we designed the stiffest uh, rear end possible by having a through axle at the main pivot, at the second main pivot, the pivot from the path link to the chainstay and double bearings at the dropout pivot. And, um, when you see the, our seat stays, which connects the main frame directly with the dropout, they are massive. So that's a very, very sturdy, very, very stiff connection. And that gives you a very, very precise feel and a very, very good feedback from the tires. So you know exactly when you go at the limit, uh, am I still okay or am I over the limit? So it's very easy to push that bikes to the limit.